episode of It's Noodle Recipe Time. This is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And this one came by way of a Zen Pop box. Go to zenpop.jp, coupon code the ramen raider for a discount. This is a Miyojo variety. It's like a spicy shoyu with some sea vegetable. I think that's what we got there. And so we are going to make it so in the way that we like to do here. Which I guess is just like whatever way that is. So, how the heck are you? Uh, it's still, it's Wednesday. <laughs> I never thought this week would end up being quote unquote flying by, but it is, ladies and gentlemen. It's going, it's going, it's going. Soon it'll be gone. Got this sachet. I'm gonna drop this in. This is some kind of bits and such and we need four minutes on the enormous thing so there we are so do you want to see my video game thingy i think it's working let's look Look at that. Yeah, this is the thing that I got. It was on a buy nothing website. And so basically I got this thing for free. Crazy, huh? It reboots a lot. I'm gonna turn it down. Turn it down or it's going away. Thank you. You hold down the coin up button. And then it gives you this. And then it goes to the menu. The problem here, though, is that Wonder Boy. We'll try that. But it locks up. It reboots. It does all this weird stuff. And if you plug in the sound, it comes out of these speakers up here. If you plug in the sound, it's so loud that it's like un undoable. This is you know, Wonder Boy 3 Monster Lair. Oh, look at that. It's a side scroller. Interesting. But here, I'll show you what the, the back of it looks like. Here we go. So there's a bunch of junk. An extra monitor came with it. <clears throat> that thing's called a Game Elf. Uh, and the screens behind that and there's all these wires and junk that I really don't understand that right there is the amplifier for the speakers that are up way up there and there's no volume for it. there's volume on the game elf thing but it doesn't seem to work so I don't I don't know what to do about that but it's a work in progress. I got, oh, actually, I do know what to, I, I got something. So I got a, uh, a little volume knob thing that has an in and an out. And so you put it in between the line into the amplifier and the thing from the game elf. And I'm hoping that works. If that works, I'll be stoked because I can just turn it down so it limits everything coming out of the thing. And it should work. If it doesn't work, I'll just return it because I got it off of Amazon. That's what Amazon is great for. So yeah, I'm stoked on that. But yeah, it snowed today. Been messing with that thing a little bit. I'm thinking I might just get rid of the game elf thing and get like a Raspberry Pi so I can put my own games on it. But I don't, see it's like it's wired up decently, but I don't know, yeah. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But it also came with a laptop. It came with a Lenovo i5 dual core with 12 gigs of RAM. It's like whoever had it put a bunch of RAM in it. This lady got divorced. Dude took all the stuff he wanted and left this big sucker. And she got new dude and they didn't want it. So they put it on the buy nothing Facebook group. 
And now I have it for free. So, yeah. But I was asking people, do you know how to do this? Oh, looks like you inherited somebody else's problem. I would just like throw it away and blah, blah, blah. It's like, God. People get really like, oh, that would be a lot of work. I don't want anything to do with it. No, it'd be fun. It's frustrating. I want it to work like 100% and perfect, but it will eventually, and it'll be because I got it fixed and I figured it out. And I don't know, maybe I'll make a couple friends off the way learning how to do it. I mean, nothing ventured, nothing gained, guys. Guys! By the way, in the Ramen Junkies group, I'm experimenting with this thing. There's the ramen junkies mega chat and these chats that are basically like open messenger so anybody who's in this in the ramen junkies group can go in there and chat with other people that are in there and let me tell you it's been a learning experience it reminds me of when the group just started because when the group just started there were so many freaking racists and just like anti-everybody and sociopaths. I'm not kidding. It's just filled up. You don't have to like really have any kind of license to uh, be on Facebook. You don't need any proof that you're a decent human being because more likely than not, I don't know. From my experience, a lot of Facebook people are absolute creeps. I think it's fun but whatever. Mmm. Okay. I like that. Let's check out the broth. Looks nice. Not bad. I think it's a spicy shio though. I'm not getting a lot of spicy out of it. Hint of a zing. Things like this are why I got really confused when I, or really cocky actually is the right term. I got this thing called uh, uh, Spicy Instant Noodle. And it was called, um, God, what was it called? 18 Prohibited Curry Lamen. And I thought, oh, this is Japanese. It's going to be about as spicy as nothing. I was like taunting it. I was making fun of it. And it ended up taking me and putting me over its knee and spanking me repeatedly. And uh, yeah, some of the spiciest stuff. And I think it's gone. They might have bowls of it now, but they certainly don't have pack form. That I'm 99.9% .9 sure is off the market. Like, but wait, there's these ones. It's like, no, 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 no. That's like chicken and gravy, like curry sauce. Those I'm sure still exist. But the 18 prohibited ramen pack, I believe is out to pasture. Probably because they wanted like nine bucks a pack for that stuff. And then like, who's gonna try that twice? It's so freaking hot. And not only that, it tasted bad, man. Ooh, ooh. Let's go with you. Uh-oh. Okay. In situations like this, it's time to get the love spoon. Love spoon? What's that, Robin Raider? I'll show you. Okay. Here's the love spoon. Gotta lose, use the love spoon once in a while. Then it gives the appearance that you know what you're doing. Come on, come on, let go. But yeah, you have to share it back in. Whoa. What's up with you, funky egg? I don't know. I, I don't know about that egg. Huh. spread over here and boy I made way more spring onion than I needed to 
but that can go right here. And you eggs go back in your egg nest in the fridge. There's one egg left, which is good but bad at the same time because then it's going to get even more marinated as everything goes on. Uh, a little bit of sesame seed. That's all she wrote on this one. A quick set of noodles. Yeah, that's three for today. I'm already done. That's, yeah. The children are relaxing. But yeah. Noodles. JP for sending these boxes every month. It's rad. I'm going to start doing their snack boxes too with my daughter Mimi. They come with one ramen, a bunch of candy, and chips, and junk like that. So, pretty cool. Anyways, this has been Hans the Ramen Raider wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. Like, subscribe, it really helps me out. Have a good one. Bye bye.